Hey fellow geeks, this is Jenna Clark with Geek Responsibly Podcast. And today, I was thinking I would switch it up a bit. I know I've done comic reviews, the podcast, even Twitch streaming, but I figured I'm sitting here waiting for BlizzCon tickets. I'm in the waiting room right now. I got four minutes. So I decided to jump on here and do a book, um, kind of like a book club. Um, I love books, as all of you pretty much should know, but if you didn't, I absolutely love books. I love reading, I love writing, and I pretty sure that if I could, I would sit and read all day, all different types of genres. Now, um, I have, again, three minutes uh, until BlizzCon tickets. Uh, I find out if I have made the cut or not. Um, so I'm gonna go with a book that I've already read and I is one of my favorite, all-time favorite movies. I went to the movie, again, it's not Harry Potter. I know all of you are like, oh my gosh, not Harry Potter again, but it is not. It is not Harry Potter. Um, but I went to the movie with a friend and then right immediately after, I bought another pair of tickets, called Steve, and told him to get ready because we were going to, God damn it, Revan. Sorry, it's Revan's birthday today. Say hi, Revan. And he's trying to play, and I just hit my green screen with his ball. So, <laughs> ridiculous. Um, so, with that being said, the movie itself is uh, one of my all-time favorites. I purchased tickets for it um, right after I already watched it with somebody else, and then I've watched it multiple times there since, and I've read the book. Um, the book and the movie are completely different. I know people are like, oh my gosh, the book is better than the movie, but this case, both of them are amazing. So it doesn't even matter. You can read it. You can also uh, watch it. Okay. You can read it, you can either watch it, um, you can do both because it's like having a different story at both times. Okay. Um, so the book that I'm referring to is Ready Player One. Ready Player One, again, is one of my all time favorites. With this one, it is completely different than the movie. And if you haven't read it, the nostalgic amazingness that's in here is definitely different than what they have in the movie. Um, and I spoke to a couple of people about why that might be the case, which I think the reasoning behind it in theory, in my theory, not anybody else's, I didn't do research, so don't quote me on this, but I figure that um, with the pieces that are in the book itself, um, not a lot of people are going to remember or recall those types of movies, uh, video games, and things like that. So they had to try and make the movie to be more of this time so that it'll attract other types of age groups and allow other kids, like they, I'm sure kids probably watch this and didn't even see all of the amazingness that was part of Ready Player One movie. Even with that. So, um, Hold on one second, I got 45 seconds. I will be right back. Sad news, I didn't get in. <laughs> it made this really cool dinging noise and then it said there are no tickets available. So, cool. Wasted bunch of time and I could have been streaming at this point. So I'm gonna make this short and sweet and Where we were at right now is with the book itself um, I believe that it is a little bit more outdated for those that are going to be watching it and even with the epicness that the movie was a lot of kids didn't really pick up on the awesome nostalgic um, nuances that were a part of it now, Ready Player One is about Wade Watts. He is in, I believe, 2025. Um, the world is completely different from what we know, and um, individuals live their life within what they call the Oasis, which is a virtual reality. Um, with that, the owner or creator of the Oasis passes, and what we gamers call is an Easter egg, which is placed within the game or 
the reality, virtual reality, and whomever finds it is going to be the rightful owner of his business as well as take control over the oasis. So you have good guys, bad guys, trying to look for this um, Easter egg, which is with three keys. Um, and you just have to read it or watch it. Um, you can do both because like I said, they're completely different stories. So you'll actually enjoy both of them. Um, I think with the book with individuals who may have been um, born in the 80s, you'll get it a little bit more. But still, if somebody is reading the book and isn't sure about a reference, they can just look it up. There's Google. It's super awesome. So on that note, because now I'm super upset and I'm probably going to go stream and play some Stardew Valley because I didn't get any BlizzCon tickets. I'm okay. Everything's fine. Hang out with Revan. It's his birthday. Revan likes hearing his name. Right? Right, Revan? <laughs> um, good boy. So again, if you haven't already, go ahead that bell so you get notifications of all the new things that I put on my channel. Um, let me know if you liked this segment. If you did, put your comments below and um, if you've read Ready Player One or even watched Ready Player One or both, what are your thoughts on the book and the movie and how they did it and portrayed it? Was it awesome? Was it not? Did you not like it? I would love to know. If you have any other books that you would recommend for me to read or um, even do a review if I have read it, put that also in the comments or add me on social uh, media. Dude, Revan, what the fuck? Anywho, I'll probably be cutting that out because that was super annoying and awkward. Revan, down. Um, but as I was saying, ring that bell for notifications. Make sure to subscribe to my channel because that makes me feel good. Makes me feel like you guys are actually paying attention. And if you're not, that's okay. Still subscribe because it doesn't really matter, right? <laughs> um, but always remember to geek responsibly.